Happy 2023, everyone. Hope you had a great time celebrating. So we're in 2023 now. So we're going to be talking today about what exactly is inside my camera bag. But let's talk about the bag first. This is the Tenba Axis 24 liters. Definitely love this bag. Got this for a really good price from a friend. Thank you, Roma. And I have to say that 24 liters is kind of the sweet spot for me, specifically because I'm someone who likes to carry a lot of gear. Really, really good bag. I guess a very solid recommendation. Um, but this is more so for someone who's going to be carrying a lot of gear, uh, maybe for two body system uh, or multiple lenses. If you're not someone who's carrying so much all the time, you prefer lightweight, then I really wouldn't recommend this bag uh, because it is really, really big. Of course, you're more interested about what's actually inside of the bag. So let's go into that. And I'm going to basically pack my bag like I would on a full day shoot. So first we've got the main body, of course, the Sony a7 IV. Recently purchased this, really love this camera and I pair it with the 17-28 to f2.8 from Tamron. This is probably my favorite go-to setup for kind of vlogging and just general YouTube videos. I also have the Sigma 35 1.4, which I recently got. Absolutely falling in love with this lens. I always take that with me wherever I go. Then we have the Sony 85 f1.8, definitely another favorite of mine. I take this lens as well with me all the time, 100%, never leaves my bag. Then we got the filters. I'm using the True Color VND system from Nisi in this very nice Nisi filter case. I also have a couple of black mist filters from Nisi along with some uh, microfiber cloths and lens papers inside of that. And the shotgun microphone I use is the Rode Video Micro, really good microphone. Definitely need to get something better, maybe the Sony ECB M1, but that's what I'm using for now. I also occasionally sometimes bring the Samyang 24 f1.8 when I'm out at night because it makes for a great night vlogging lens. But if I'm shooting in the daytime, I don't bring it. Then I got the Autel Nano Plus. If I wanna go take some drone photography or drone videos, then I bring that with me, slide that down there. A Couple of batteries for it as well. And then we have the drone controller. I kind of slide that in the top compartment over there. And then I have the GoPro Hero 7 Black, which goes down there. Then we have the MacBook Air M1 that goes in the laptop sleeve, really nice. Plenty of space in there, could probably fit a 15, no problem. And then we're going to get my little tech pouch with you know SSD, a couple of cables, um, SD card reader and charger, throw that in there. And then we have the GoPro chest mount. This is a really cheap one that I just bought online from AliExpress. And that's basically it for everything inside the kind of main camera compartment. So let's zip this up and uh, flip it over. So I have this little extending selfie tripod thing from Yulanzi, and that obviously goes into the tripod pocket on the side. And then we'll zip this area up, and as you can see, we've got these two nice pockets, which I really love because then I can put all the charged batteries into one pocket and all the dead batteries into the other pocket, which is absolutely amazing. I love when camera bags have these nice, neat, organized pockets inside. And if I need an extra light with me, I take this little v VGM, VGIM something, RGB LED light. It was really cheap. Shove that in there. Then I've got my Telesyn uh, CPL and ND filter set for my GoPro 7. Of course, a dust puffer to clean all the lenses. And then a small roll on because you know, when you're walking around hiking all day with a big camera bag on, then uh, you get a little bit stinky. Now we have something that's a little bit interesting. It's actually a VND set for my phone. Uh, it's like this little clip and then you just screw the VND on top. Of course, there's a color shift and whatnot, but it's always great to have this because um, it's super small, super portable. And if you want to get some shots with the phone, it's a great thing to have. And I have to say video quality from phones is actually amazing nowadays. Like, like I'm literally recording this entire video with my Samsung S21 and I have to say that it actually looks really, really good and high quality. I also have a soft bristle brush that I just take in case I want to you know, clean some lenses on the front and a 10 by rain cover that comes included with the bag. So yeah, that's basically it. That's everything I would take on a day trip. And that's my completed kit. I have to say over the past couple of years, it hasn't really even changed that much. I used to have a 16 and 35 uh, F4 from Sony, but I've replaced that with the Tamron and the Sigma 35. And you know, just that combination of 17 to 35 was already completely fixed me on the wide side of things. I think the only thing I'm really missing now is a cheap 50 millimeter and then a 70 to 200 or a 135 or something like that. I think with those two extra lenses, I would basically have everything I ever need. And I have to say, it's a really, really good kind of setup. 
I've done so much client work with it and I have to say that it is for me at the moment perfect. I don't really want to swap any pieces. Maybe I would get rid of the 24 from Samyang, but I have to say it's very useful for vlogging at night, especially since I have the F1.4 compared to the Tamron's F2.8. So, you know, I just keep that on the side for now, although I don't go out shooting too much at night. Actually, let me know what's inside of your camera bag in the comments below. I'm actually very curious to see what kind of setups and what collection of lenses people are shooting with primarily. It's always very interesting to see, you know, uh, everyone has their own kind of style and lenses they prefer and really like. So it's always very interesting to see what people are using. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd definitely appreciate a like and subscribe. If you're into photography at all, I definitely recommend you guys subscribe and stick around because I've got tons and tons of content coming this year, a lot planned, and uh, I'll see you guys around.